So, hello fellow banknote collectors. How are you going today? My name is Glenn, and today I have Afghan and uh, Afghan Afghani from 1979 to 2002. So, I have denominations 10 Afghanis to 10,000, and anything below 10 Afghanis was a coin in 1979. So, they issued 25 and 50 pool, which is the base unit, which equals uh, one Afghanis equals 100 pool. And they should one, two, and five Afghani coins as well. So, as you can see, I have the 10 Afghanis, and it's actually quite a small coin. So, uh, banknote, what am I talking about? Coins. So, here's the two dollar coin, and if you compare it. You know what size the two dollar coin is, then you'll know that this banknote is actually quite small. Um, can I compare it to a more modern banknote? Mm, something in circulation. Mm, uh, maybe this 200 franc. Yeah, that's actually quite a small banknote. So it's the smallest banknote. And it is green in colour. On this side, it just has the, that's not the coat of arms of Afghanistan, that's the coat of arms of the Dar Afghanistan Bank. And I presume this side is actually in Persian, or Pashto, which is uh, one of the languages of Afghanistan. Probably one of the largest languages, but they also speak Uzbek and Tajik. Um, not Tajik, Kyrgyz, which is... Some say it's a dialect of Persian anyway. But uh, I'm not going to get into their languages. I might angry some other people. So if you want to know that in this banknote. So it says 1358. Which is equivalent to 1979. And it's a nice mm, pattern banknote. On the back of the banknote. We have the uh, Salang Pass. Which connects... Pa one and the Kabul provinces, so this is in the mountainous area, and these valleys, which they call passes, actually helps trade from one area of Afghanistan to another, and Afghanistan has about four or five of these passes. So that's the 10 Afghanis. So then we have the 20. So it has the same feature. Okay, this probably says... Uh, the Afghanistan bank at the top. Not too sure though. I don't read Afghani or Arabic, by the way. This, uh, this probably says the denomination here. It probably says when it was issued and who issued it. And these are the bank officials. I presume anyway. And the numerals are in Arabic. On the reverse... We have the Bandi Amir Park, which is in a Banyan province, same place as those Banyan Buddhas, which were blown up by the Taliban. And this is uh, a series of six lakes that are separated by Tavatine, which is just a limestone uh, um, dam, so it's naturally built up. And, well, Limestone is in a cast formation, so there's probably caves around near somewhere. And as you can see, there's the cliff edges. So that's a nice banknote. And then we have the 50. So the high banknotes have an image on this side. So this is basically the same. 1358. And the signatures, are they different? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so these are the two different signature combinations. Okay, so on the reverse, we have the Dal Aman Palace, which means a bead of peace of, uh, in Persian. And this was uh, built by the King of Afghanistan in the 1920s by a uh, Amanullah Khan and it was actually designed by a German Walter Harton 
and this banknote is turquoise and the other banknote that is turquoise is the, the 1000 Afghanis but you won't get confused because of the size so that is actually quite a nice banknote okay the next banknote we have is the 100 Afghanis and this is a pink banknote this is actually my favorite because of the pinkish color pinkish red and on this side it actually has a person with um, a fork shoveling hay so or wheat or something like that I'd say it's most likely hay after it's been wheat has been harvested in the background here factories and all that so this is actually a bigger bank there so in 1973 the Afghan had a value of uh, 67 to 1 US dollar so this is nearly equivalent to 1 US dollar 1992 it dropped to 16,000 and by 2002 it's up to 52,000 yeah, they're unofficial but officially they probably would have been a lot lower so on this side we have the Nagul Dam which was built by the Soviets in 1968 and it has the capacity to produce 100 megawatts of power I presume that's per year and the dam is uh, 110 meters tall 28 meters long as you can see it's longer than it is tall and the water has a capacity of 550 million cubic meters of water so that's behind the dam inside and I presume this actually wasn't damaged during the Civil War. So I like these images on the side, not bad. It has a security thread. The previous one didn't have any security thread. But it looks like no watermarks. Don't, I can't tell really. Um, does this one have a watermark? No, probably not. So, and here we have the 500 Afghanis. So these are all first issued in... 1979 up to 1000 so someone's 13 um, so it's 1370 on that day and here we have a tr traditional sport of the Turkic people which is adopted by the Afghanis probably introduced by the um, um, the, uh, Uzbeks, which are, are the Uzbeks the Turkish people? No, that's the Turkmen, Turkmenistan. Anyway, Uzbeks might be Turkish people, I have to look that up, I can't remember. Anyway, that's a back Bazkashi players, and what they do is they take a dead goat or a dead baby cow, calf, and they try and place the carcass in a goal. So they have 10 players and they try and get it off each other and whoever does that actually wins. So interesting race and they still play in in our Central Asia mainly. So on the other side of this banknote we have the uh, Balahisar Fortress which is, this is so this is more like a modern fortress probably 1500s or something um, but it was started in the 5th century, so it's been occupied since the 5th century, so one and a half thousand years. And currently the walls are 6.1 metres high and 3.7 metres thick, and it's actually quite nice. Not bad. And as you can see, the security features get more complicated, so... Does it have watermarks? No, doesn't look like it. It's just a printing on the banknote. There's a security thread though. And then we have the 1,000... Afghani, so this was the highest denomination in 1979. And on this side, we have the Shrine of Ali Mosque, or the Blue Mosque. The reason why it's called the Shrine of Ali Mosque is they think that Ali was buried there, but he's most likely buried in uh, the Imam Ali Mosque in Najaf in Iraq. So they reckon that his body might have been taken here so his enemies don't get hold of it but as you can see there's doves of peace flying around and this is actually quite a beautiful mosque so researching all these banknotes and what's on them 
Afghanistan just seems like a very beautiful place, although it is very dangerous because they're still having a civil war. But with all the nature, natural wonders, and all the beautiful mosques and buildings and history, it's just I just really would like to go there, but mm, I'll probably get kidnapped by the Taliban. Well, they won't cut my head off, not like that. Um, oh, I've never heard of them actually cut people's heads off. Still, it's not a safe place to go. But the history, the place is beautiful, I reckon. You know, being friends with Afghans in the past, and they're just wonderful people. So, here on this side, we have the... Um, Hagman Gardens, which uh, date from uh, 1928. And uh, here we have the Victory Arch, so that's based on the Arc de Triomphe. And this one actually looks more Asian, more Japanese style type of arch, but I'm not too sure what that is. And during the Civil War, this is mainly totally destroyed, except for the arch, which has been rebuilt mainly, but the top of it was damaged. And as you can see, the mountains in the background. So that's quite a nice bank note. Does this doesn't look like it has security for it? No watermark. Okay. Hmm. Ah well, that's a pity. So here we have the last two highest denominations. Let's see if we can get it all. So we have the five thousand Afghanis, and this was introduced in nineteen ninety three or nineteen 19- 1372, should I say? Uh, as you can see, 1372, and this was introduced because of the well hyperinflation. And on this side, we have the um, Pul e Kishti Mosque, the largest mosque in Kabul. And this was built in the 18th century. So 1700s, and I actually can't find that much information. It's actually the, that moss doesn't look that good on the outside. Not like the blue moss. The blue moss is one of the best. There's actually another mosque in Herat, which is on these banknotes. And on this side, we have the tomb of Ahmed Shah Durrani, and he is considered the founder of Afghanistan. Uh, this tomb would have dated after his death in 1772. And it's in Kandahar. And oh, this banknote is purple. And it's just, it actually looks nice. So it looks a bit different now because they put lights around it so people can see at night time. And the watermark on this is the, well, coat of arms of the, looks like Afghanistan. Or the Afghanistan bank. Let's have a look. So there, there, yeah, it looks the same as that there. And the date, 1939 or 1317, is the date of the founding of the bank, not the founding of Afghanistan. So the highest bank note issued also in 1993 is this 10,000 Afghanis. And, well, if at the end there was 52 Afghanis to one US dollar, this is worth 20 cents in the changeover. But this one has the Great Mosque of Harat, and this is actually quite a beautiful mosque. So along with the Blue Mosque, which is that one there, this uh, Great Mosque of Harat is just as beautiful. They're nice blue colour, both of them, and they just look awesome. I really... Oh, I just really want to go there and have a look because why not? It's yeah, but my wife won't let me. Oh well. So the watermark is the same. Seal of Bank of Afghanistan. Uh, the watermark actually. The security thread looks like the Afghanistan Bank with the value. Well, maybe it's just the value ten thousand. So ten thousand looks like. Yeah. And on this side, it has a um, Kuala 
Ya. Kualai Kuala Ibust Fortress. That's up there. Sorry, I'm butchering this. And uh, Laksha Ga. So this is the area, the town. And Lashkar Ga is a uh, Persian for army barracks because apparently this city grew up around an army barracks. And this archway dates from the 11th century, but I'm not too sure who actually built it because it's just like a standalone right there. It's built to commemorate something, but looks like it has Arab or Persian inscriptions on the side. But it's actually a bit damaged as well from um, just from age. So, while up there looks like they have a lot of uh, war remnants. A lot of the battles took place up the top. Um, maybe some of that damage is actually war damage. So this is the highest banknote issued, well, from 1979 until 2002 when they changed it with the new Afghani. Now, now after the fall of the Afghan government, I think that was in 1992 or 1993, um, a lot of different factions were fighting each other and a lot of uh, individuals and militant groups actually printed their own banknotes. So if you get two banknotes that have the same serial number combination, it's probably just issued by two different areas of Afghanistan. And apparently when the Taliban took over in, uh, I think it was 1996, they actually... Um, made a lot of these banknotes illegal so I presume they would have printed their own banknotes with uh, mainly um, a coordinated uh, serial numbers and they would have uh, said no we're not going to accept the other ones so those are awesome Afghan banknotes from well, before 2002. Anyway, if you like this video, I'd like to say thank you very much. And uh, please give it a thumbs up. And also, subscribe to my channel so I can show you more about different currencies. So, Afghanistan has lots of older banknotes, which are harder to get. And uh, they're just awesome. So, thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.